All right, thank you for staying with Daybreak. So you must be wondering, the president said that from April there's be temporary suspension of listing on the CRB. And then you find your name is still there. All right, so helping me discuss this is Sam Omukoko. He's joining me on Skype. He's the founder and group managing director, Metropole CRB. Mr. Sam, thanks for making time for us. The biggest questions that Kenyans have now is that the president said that the, there's temporary suspension of CRB listing, but their names are still on CRB. What did the president mean exactly? Uh, thank you, Trevor, for having me. Um, what the president's direction actually does mean is that uh, beginning from 1st of April, uh, the bureaus are supposed to freeze customers' accounts so that those who will have a challenge in continuing repayments are not deemed as having defaulted because we cannot clear past credit history up to end of March. That history will still be on the Bureau. But what then happens is that during the period from first up to a prescribed time, when customers go to banks to borrow money, their credit histories will reflect what was there as up to 31st of March. And any defaults that come in uh, going forward will not then be registered on the Credit Reference Bureau. It did not mean that we completely remove customers' records which are already existing on the Credit Reference Bureau file. So to be clear, if you're on the CRB before April 1st, you're still on the CRB list? You're still on the CRB? Yeah. Um, and, and usually, this is not uh, a new thing, it's just that uh, this is the time we are experiencing a crisis mm -hmm. in the era of credit reporting in this country. In other countries like U.S. or Europe, where they have had credit reference bureaus for a long time, they normally the way they normally handle crisis is that they give customers reprieve during a crisis period and freeze any activities on the credit reference bureau to allow people to access credit without necessarily using their history on the credit reference bureau but then that doesn't help you much because then if your history is still negative it remains like that so what, what's the need of just giving your grace period into april what if you can't even borrow at that particular point because there's not much going on in terms of business right now um the trevor the, the this is a very technical and uh, unprecedented issue in, in this country. And what the, 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 the challenge that is there is that banks do not then use the past credit history to give you credit during this particular period. Uh, the important point to note is that uh, many people will be affected because their incomes have been affected. Those who are on installments will not continue installments. And in a period like this, actually, uh, customers want grants, uh, not additional debt. But where the government has directed that uh, banks uh, do relax their lending terms to allow people to access credit, this is specially treated so that it does not rely on past histories for you to get credit history. Remember... Yeah. After the crisis, the reporting mechanism must continue and the integrity of the system must be maintained in the sense that we want continuity of how you are managing your credit uh, accounts. Yeah. But uh, the specific thing that during this particular period, you will not be denied credit because of past default history. But that's the thing that I'm trying to figure out here, Mr. Sam, because then... Banks use history that is way longer than just one month. So if I'm not listed on yeah. CRB between the month of April and I'll go and look for a loan in May, that's well and good. But if I was there in March, they will still check the March history. So this period of April where I'm not listed doesn't help me much. Um, now this is where the presidential directive then comes in to say, uh, dis uh, disregard the listing status of this customer uh, be, uh, before start of April, disregard that history. Do remember, Trevor, is that uh, about uh, about ninety two percent 
of Kenyans are actually servicing their debts very well, and they have very good credit histories. Yeah. Um, a, a, a proportion of that have had challenges and they are blacklisted. But so what the president is saying that in this period, disregard that past credit history. But it doesn't mean that we remove the credit history from the, 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 the Bureau of Files. Um, disregarding means that no bank should deny you credit because of that past credit history. Okay. So what if yes. what if I'm negatively listed in error, e.g. inaccurate information maybe or identity theft? What is my route for recourse? Um, there's a standardized uh, process that customers usually follow when you are uh, when your information is the, the credit reference bureau. One is that you are entitled to one free credit report every year, so you can be able to see uh, what entries have gone onto your credit profile. But two is that we, as the bureaus, have made it very easy to report. Uh, through your mobile phone and, uh, and email applications. So that when you, if you check and you find that you have an error or that you have entries that you do not understand on your profile, the usual thing to do is to immediately notify the Bureau. The Bureau has 10 days within which to respond to you. Yeah. If they cannot respond to you, then the Bureau will contact the bank or the institution that provided the entry so that they can be able to sort out that matter if within 15 days that matter has not been sorted out, then the law requires that we remove that item from your credit profile. So whose responsibility is it to get my name off the CRB listing? Um, it's basically the bank. Because you see, look, the, the CRB is a licensed institution by the Central Bank of Kenya. And the CRB is mandated to receive credit data from lenders. So the CRB acts like a, a, a repository of data that is coming from the banks. So the primary responsibility of determining what type of data comes to the Bureau is actually the lender. The CRB on its own cannot decide what, that you should be on the blacklist or you should be not on the blacklist. It is the, 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 the information regarding how you are servicing your loans that comes from the bank that determines your status on the bureau. So everything actually lies with the lender that has given you credit. All right. So now, right, right now as we speak, there are over 3 million Kenyans who are listed negatively. Just, just kindly explain to yeah. us what a credit yeah. score really is and how it is arrived at. How do you know that Trevor's credit score is this and therefore is being listed negatively? Um, a credit score is a number that measures you are credit worthiness that is the the type of risk that you present to the lender and the information that goes into the credit score is purely information that is in your credit profile and this touches on uh, things like the amount of debt that you are having the the the, the way you pay your loans in terms of promptness according to the agreed uh, 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 to standards, the also the 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 the, the 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 activity that you are having in terms of how how you how how you, you seek for credit, and so these are the issues that go into the credit score. Now, the credit score only relies on information that has been provided by lenders. To the credit reference bureau okay. in the scale run from about 100 to 900 whereby um any scores below 400 indicate that, that you have a default item on your profile scores above 400 show that you are paying well and if you have scores anything above 700 then it means you are an excellent payer of debts okay. so in the current in the current reporting structure of Credit Reference Bureau, we actually don't have blacklists. What we have are people with low scores and high scores. So if your score is below 400, you basically have a low score. And that score can still be used by a lender to determine how much to give you and to how much to charge you. Okay. So the issue of blacklist actually in the Credit Reference Bureau doesn't exist. 
All right. So Sam, I have two questions here on Twitter. Somebody is asking what happens to record to records of defaulters pre COVID nineteen? What happens to that record of default? Uh, as far as the bureau is concerned, it's going to be frozen. The status is going to be frozen so that we have the history up to end of thirty first of March. Then there's a period that the president has directed that this particular period that history should not be used to assess whether you should access credit or not. Once that period has ended, we shall reinstate the previous history that you had so that there is continuity in the reporting mechanism. Okay. And then the other question was then how sure are we that the bank will not use that, that particular history if I go to borrow today? Um, and that's why now, again, it requires uh, uh, it requires proper interpretation. And we, the bureaus, have actually approached Central Bank and says, because we are regulated by the Central Bank, we need a proper interpretation of what the, how to implement the presidential directive because we do not want a situation whereby customers um, go to the banks and they're asking for credit and the bank is using the old credit reference bureau data to assess whether this customer should access credit or not. So basically what then happens is that if, if, if the directive is properly implemented, we shall be guided as to what shall happen to the credit that is given during the crisis period and what happens after the crisis period. How do we treat this particular credit? that uh, has been given and merged to the previous credit before the crisis period. All right, Mr. Samo Mukoko, founder and group managing director, Metropole CRB. Thank you so much for making time for Daybreak and explaining to us what that suspension of CRB listing really means in as much as there's still a bit of loose ends to be tied up there, especially to, in terms of how the banks then implement that directive given by the president. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. We're taking a quick break here on Daybreak. When we come back, we're speaking to Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development. That is Betty Maina. She'll be making heads and tails of how bad this impact is going to be and what they're planning to cushion Kenyans going forward. In fact, at that point, we'll open the phone lines. If you have a question for the Trade CS, where you can just send them to us or call in and we'll ask her directly, all right? See you in just a bit.